Hi, I'm Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Now, we all know about the yes box and the no box. Those are the two main categories that we put people into automatically, almost unconsciously when we first meet them. And they mean, yes, I definitely have sex with this person, or no, no way I'd have sex with this person. So we all do this. It's human nature. Doesn't matter. It's an automatic thing that we are excited or we're not. And we know that it's a possibility or not. Then there's another box. And I want to talk to you about the maybe box. Because I don't hear people talking about this very much. And I know that it's going on. I'm seeing it happen to some of my friends. And as a matter of fact, I've put people in the maybe box. And I'm pretty sure I've been in people's maybe box. So the maybe box is not, uh, it's not being friend zoned. The maybe box is, to me, a subcategory of the yes box. It's a yes, but. And the but is important. The reason you're uh, sort of an appendage to the yes box is that visually, chemistry-wise, vibe-wise, you go into the yes box. But there's a concern. There is a sense of hesitancy. You're close, but you're not exactly it. You, this person does not want to discard you. They want to keep their option to possibly being with you, but they have concerns about some aspect of you that doesn't resonate either with their goals in life or where they see themselves, or there's something in your life that doesn't match theirs. So here's why you might be put into the maybe box. You could have something in your lifestyle that disagrees with this person's lifestyle. Say, for example, um, you're a hardcore athlete and this person is in sales and they're always on the road and they don't want to lose a day or two out of every week while you're training. You're, you're a candidate, but you don't quite fit. It could even be far more shallow than that. It could be that the person that finds you agreeable wants a certain level of social status or money that you don't have. And for that reason, you're close but you don't quite cut it. This happened to a guy friend of mine who certainly uh, checked himself into the yes box of this female's I would sleep with him. But as a divorcee of a hedge fund dude, um, she had a social standing that she needed to comply with so that her friends would not think that she had lost her status along with being divorced for the younger version of herself. So no matter how good looking and charming my friend was, he was kept in an orbit around this woman, but never got into the yes box because no, he didn't have a hedge fund. So here's what it feels like when you're in the maybe box. There's contact. They'll call you. They'll text you. There's no downtime. There's no game playing like with hot and cold. You're not getting that where they're measuring their response. They're very comfortable with you. You know they like you. You know they're attracted to you. Um, however, there's not enough incentive for them to ever make a concrete forward movement. But they can keep you in their orbit for weeks, months, or years if you allow it. Much like the hot and cold player, they give you just enough air to breathe, but not enough to survive. It's the kind of thing where they flirt with you. There's a lot of flirtation. They flirt with you. They'll go out on a date with you. You might even make out, you know, have a little bit of some kind of sexual, minimal sexual encounter. But it's never full out. It's never full on. And it's never sustained. So the maybe box it also differs from being a back burner because that's actually a relationship that's happening, but the person's just letting it simmer. The maybe box is a disqualifier. And I'm sorry about that, but if you're in one, you have to understand it's that that person's goals don't match yours. And they are seeing something in your lifestyle, in your disposition, in your personal life, some factor. Uh, you have children from an ex-marriage. They don't want to deal with children. Um, you don't have enough money. They desperately need money for their forward goals. Um, lifestyle is different. There's something in your lifestyle that concerns them, and they don't want to be a part of it. So these are the reasons that you're not getting a hard yes.
So be careful about the maybe box. It's very confusing because it's kind of a, a yes, but you may never make it into the yes box unless this issue that should become apparent to you because of their conversation, you should be able to read your partner well enough to know what it is that they want and then look back at yourself and say, oh, and uh, yeah, that's the reason I don't have that. If this is something that you think is beneficial, that you could change, that you really want to change, not for them, but for yourself, then do so. And then you'll go into the yes box. But if it's something that's not going to work out and you know your partner is firm on having this thing that obviously you don't have or can't offer, then please move on to somebody who will certainly put you in the yes box, be happy to do so, and they're glad to have you there. I hope this helps you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. And take care of yourself and no more maybes, just yeses. Thank you.